tradable in the club as well. Come on. Hook again! Let's go! German. Royce! Oh, let's go! That's class! What is this <laughs> place? Boy! The day has finally arrived for the first official trailer of the Mario movie, and I am so excited! I'm so excited for April 7th. But uh, also, quick side note, can we talk about the absurdity? The fact that Connor Reed's, a Connor Reed's pants sub leaked the first ever <laughs> leak of Mario's face before, no, a day before we got the actual trailer. And the leak was real. It turned out to be, you know, real. It was all over Twitter. It, it was all people were talking about. And apparently, according to Connor, um, the sub also in the image, they didn't show the entire image. Peach's face was also in it, but you know, missed opportunity. But overall, Connor eats pants discord is just Connor eats pants in general as a streamer is just a hub of leaking gaming content. You know? Just another W for Mr. Eats Pants, pretty common, to be honest with you. but back to the main topic. We finally got a trailer, and visually, the movie looks amazing it looks great you know the, this this scene where mario like sort of slowly falls off of the mushroom it, it looks it's just it's it's so smooth it flows so nicely you know you can tell this has been worked on for you know, seven seven years seven eight years long time uh the only silly thing so far is the voice of mario which kind of sounds a little eh what is this place it sounds a little off to me at least and that's mainly because it's chris pratt and chris pratt said it was going to be something that we've never heard in the mario universe which you know chris pratt has never been in the mario universe so technically it's not wrong it has a little brooklyn mario is from brooklyn so maybe we'll talk about his home this seems to be like uh the story seems to be like the first sonic movie most likely i would assume with just kind of like an origin story we'll probably get another mario movie I'm assuming this is going to be great for the box office. I'm assuming this movie is going to make a lot, a lot of money. Uh, and I also really like how they made Bowser such a menace. What, what he did to the penguins, I was right. I love the penguins. And I hope, I hope there's a post credit scene where Mario just drops the penguin off the, a side of like a, a cool, cool mountain. But I doubt, I doubt that'll happen. But that would be cool. But uh, the designs just look so good for the Koopa Troopas. Kamek's voice. I don't know who's voicing Kamek. I think it was Kevin something. I don't remember. But Kamek's voice actor he did a good job. Behold, the king of the Koopas. The Koopa Troopers, their design is actually different, which is something that you know Paper Mario should probably take a lesson or, or a five from. Uh, but overall, I think that this will be a good movie. It, it seems good so far from what we've done, from what we've seen. I like it. Like I said, only weird thing is Chris Pratt's voice, but I think it can work. I can understand the point that it could be a little annoying to just hear Charles Marnay voice Mario for like potentially two hours up to an uh, hour 30. You know, that's understandable. Uh, I, you know, but overall, I like Keegan Michael as Toad. I'm sorry, <laughs> that one's perfectly- I don't like that Toads have teeth. That looks really strange and really wrong. Maybe they'll change it before the movie comes out. I don't think they will, but you know, <laughs> yeah, overall, I, I like it. And Keegan as Toad is kind of hilarious because it sounds like Keegan a little bit, but also flaring it up for Toad. So it, it's perfect, but it, it's just crazy to imagine, you know? Little world, we're gonna have a good Sonic movie and a good Mario movie, you know? It's 2023 gonna be a movie it's really gonna be a movie man uh, thanks for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe and uh, I'll, I'll catch you another time